guys, thanks for stopping by my channel. This is going to be a conceal carry video. I haven't made one of these in a while. I don't even remember the last one I did and it's been too long. So anyway, I want to try to show you guys different ways to wear your firearm with a dress or a skirt. Spring is coming. Well, I don't know if it's coming to where you are, but here in Virginia, we have had some really beautiful days to where it makes me want to wear more skirts. Uh, sometimes dresses. I'm not a big dress person, but sometimes. And I thought now is a good time for me to show you guys different ways that you can wear skirts and dresses and carry. The outfit that I'm wearing right now is a cotton dress. And this fabric is really kind of hard to conceal in because it is kind of clingy and it definitely does print. So here is the dress that I have on right now. This is a great springtime dress. I think I wore this to some mother daughter function a few years ago. Uh, it's really comfortable, but like I said, it is cotton and this prints really bad and don't mind my extra pale legs it is still february guys so the first thing i tried with this dress is the under tech undercover concealment shorts they fit really nicely under the dress they don't show through so um it's kind of like wearing a pair of um exercise shorts these are quite comfortable and i do like them under a dress but maybe not with this one in particular with this fabric and i will show you why so here is what I got on under the dress. It's my Glock 43. And I don't know how well you can see it in this video or if you can see it at all, but the butt of the gun is right here. And I feel like this part sticks out quite a bit. The part that's tucked into the actual pocket doesn't really stick out, but the butt of the gun or the barrel of the gun sticks out right here. And I feel like it looks like there's something there. I think if you wore a sweater or a jacket over top of this, it would work just fine, you could get away with it, but without something over it, I think it definitely prints. So I'm gonna show you what I would do instead. Okay, so I put on the Can Can Concealment Thigh Holster, and I just wanna let you guys know that I also had to switch out the gun because I originally bought this holster when I was carrying my Ruger LCP, which is a 380 and a lot smaller than the Glock 43, and the Glock 43 does not fit in this holster, so, I guess I'm going to have to get another one of these in a larger size. So here you go. That's how I have it um, positioned underneath this dress. Got this on um, my left leg. So you would draw like this. Uh, I like this holster. I feel like it's quick to, you know, reach under there and grab the gun. And I feel like I get a good grip on it. So that is how I would wear my firearm with this sort of dress, um, at least this kind of material. And I'm going to move on to another outfit and I will be back in a second. All right, I'm back with a different kind of dress. This one is a different material. I'm not really sure what this material is, but this dress is tighter than the last dress, which is bad. It has a pattern on it, which is good. But it also has this tie thing in the middle that sits right where the grip of the gun would be. So it'd be really hard. Actually, trying to pull this dress up is really hard because this dress is not as flowy as the other one. Wearing the gun in the shorts is a no-go because it's too difficult to pull this dress up. So for this dress, we're gonna go with a thigh holster again. This one is a bit shorter and tighter than the last one. That's why I wanted to show it with a thigh holster so you can see how it looks with this style of dress. Again, I have a thigh holster on right here. The gun is right here. It doesn't show. I think even though this dress is tighter, the pattern helps a lot. Uh, so yeah, you can't tell I have anything on. Definitely can feel the gun there. So it is a bit to get used to if you don't really wear thigh holsters. Um, yeah, it is just something to get accustomed to, but it definitely is comfortable enough to wear out and yeah, I like it. So here's how it looks under the dress. I actually do have the shorts on underneath this dress. So just so you know, I really wish I got this holster in the bigger size because I would really love to show you guys what it looks like with a nine millimeter, but maybe this is a sign that I have to go get that SIG P238 because that gun would fit in this holster. 
I also think the Undertech Undercover Concealment Tank Top would work well with this outfit because this is kind of low cut and it would be easy to get your hand in there and get the gun. The gun would sit kind of right here. I don't own one of those and I wish I did because I would really like to see how the Glock 43 feels right here. It might be too big, which again would be another reason why I should get the SIG, right? Uh, so anyway, yeah, I might put that on my wish list. I never thought I really would have a need for that tank top, but now I'm starting to wonder because some of my shirts are a little lower and I think it would work well. All right, now I'm gonna move on to skirts. I'm gonna show you a longer skirt and I'm gonna show you a shorter one. So this is the skirt I've got on. It is a maxi skirt. It's pretty long, goes all the way down to my ankles. I don't think the thigh holster is great for this situation because there's too much material here that you'd have to fumble around with to get to the gun. So instead, I paired it with the shorts and it is right here, very easy to get to. And with the shirt down and this pattern, it conceals really well. Another option for this outfit is a belly band. Belly band works great for this sort of situation. I just threw mine on. I have the Hidden Heat Lace 2-1, um, but any belly band really would work. They're all kind of the same. And I put that on over top of the shorts actually because I didn't feel like changing, but that's how that looks. And with a belly band option, you can adjust this and wear it wherever you want. And here it is, appendix carry. So I just slid it around and moved it to the front. And there, there you go. I'll be right back with another skirt, my last outfit of the day. See you in a second. All right guys, last outfit. And don't mind the wrinkles in my shirt. I was too lazy to iron it. Also, just FYI, I am wearing two guns right now. I actually have the thigh holster on with this skirt. The skirt, although it seems kind of tight, it is a very stretchy material and it's easy to lift up and get to the firearm. And the other one that I'm wearing is the belly band. I've got my Glock right here. I think it conceals pretty well like this, even though this is a lighter colored shirt. I could probably wear a tank top or something underneath here, give it another layer of concealment, but I really don't think you can see it. And it's really comfortable. All right guys, there is this outfit. Um, very comfortable, even though I'm wearing two firearms. I think I'm very well concealed, even though I'm wearing two. And I think I would be the biggest badass in whatever room I'm in right now. So there's that. That's all I've got for it. this video. That is four outfits and my bedroom is actually a disaster from trying on all these different outfits. So I'm gonna go clean that now. Okay, I will see you guys soon with another video. If you guys have any ideas for me or suggestions, leave those down below. I am all ears. I hope you all have a great week and I will see you guys soon. Bye.